Hi friends, in this video we are going to see about Cursive.js how many varieties we can run, how many options are available to uh, run the test suite. So there are a couple of options available to run different type. So first one, so in this video we are going to cover the following topics which are run, run file name, run with steps, run with the grip command, parallel test which means parallel test, parallel test with multi browser and parallel test the run workers, debug and webos. So let's go to the video. So this is the current test case we have uh, from our past videos. We have attained this stage. So in this file we have two test cases which has one has two test cases and another one file has a five test cases. The first option is just simple run. So whatever we have built so far, you can go through the series of video which part of this playlist. You can see how to build all these test cases. Uh, here we are going to discuss only about running the test suit or test case. Okay. So the first option is npx up js run. So we might have already seen this option already, but anyway, so this command will run all the test. So you can see two test files are available. You can see two test files are available. I'm on page Google search test. So these two test cases will have totally seven test cases. So all seven will run. So I, I'm just simply using npx code search js run. I'm using WebDriver IO and I'm using Firefox browser. So it just opens the browser and it will run all seven test cases. Completed. So the first feature test case is completed. Now it is moving to the second feature, Google search. Simply two test cases. Okay, so all seven complete. This is the first option. So now moving to the second option, run file name. Suppose in this case, I want to run the test case which are available only in Google search test. So I simply copy the file name. I type in px code search is run. This space file name. No need to worry about anything, just a file name plus enter so it takes only the google search text which has two test cases just launch the browser simple test case go to home page wait exit that's it test case one completed move into second test case okay two test case so this is option two so you can give any file name which you want to run but all the test cases within this particular file will be picked up to run the third option is uh, steps i'm going to run the same file with steps so you can see earlier in our previous run you see only the test case names are printed only the feature name which is here and the test case name which is here this is printed now I want to print the steps also. So I give the additional command hyphen hyphen steps. Center. So first test case. So I just started printing the steps also. I am on page. I wait for one this one. And the next test case. I am on page. That's it. Close. So this is the hyphen hyphen steps option will do. Now moving to the hyphen grep command. I want to run only this particular test case. Mm -hmm. If I want to run this particular test case, I just say npx js run hyphen hyphen grep space with single quotation. What is the search word you want to use? 
so be careful when you use a grip uh, so make sure you don't have a space uh, in the search word otherwise it won't work sometime okay you can see this time it picks a demo feature and it is so launching so it picked the test case to pass completed so this is iphone iphone grip now moving to the interesting topic parallel test so to start the parallel test we have to configure in the config file how many parallel thread we want to run for that we have an option called multiple let's say inside the concept config file I'm saying multiple parallel so option chance two so which means our test case will run in two threads so at the moment the test two browser will be launched at the same time and test cases will asynchronously executed in two browsers it's like a so I for to run this multiple uh, parallel test I have to specify npx because of js run multiple hyphen multiple hyphen hyphen all so which means that it will run the all the test cases I have mentioned a chunk to means you to open two browsers at the same time so you can see there's a two thread starter so both is firefox so one thread picks the demo feature and another thread picks the google search feature so you can see two threads started so one file is already completed finished so two browser at the same time so first browser took the google search feature the second browser took the demo feature so it is about uh, the multiple run so little bit more the body let run multiple we can run the same with multiple browsers so by simply adding so that's it Process Chrome Firefox. So I'm running the same command. This time, two browsers launched with two instances. So totally, it's a four browsers because of we have chunk to use us to do. so firefox also opening so totally there are four processes running parallelly to chrome and to firefox so you no need to do any other setup everything will be handled automatically threads sessions cookies everything so crown already completed five are completed now everything is passed so four instances to chrome and to firefox this is about uh, run multiple with the uh, browsers next uh, title is uh, run workers so workers split the threads based on the test cases not by test file so to run workers in px run hyphen workers space 3 so when i say it, it just split the test case uh, all the test cases in three parallel browsers just hit enter 
it will create a three process so everything will run parallel but in this time it won't take a file base so everything based on the test cases Process, three process. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much fast. So this is how the run workers work. So the, the basic difference between a run multiple and a run workers are run multiple picks the file and assigned to a particular browser, but workers split the test cases and assigned to browsers. So next couple of things are just a debug and where it goes. So debug is simply prints uh, uh, high level debugging logs so you can say like run or hyphen hyphen grab you can just do run one test case you know to run everything no debug it's a debug I run it I can see a little bit detailed steps printed here helpers puppet here plugins what are the plugins enabled so it just give a little bit more information when the failures are happening we may get some more information so it was very useful for debug so next one is a verbose it's a similar to debug but verbose is little very detailed level of uh, javascript information like all the internal logs promises events everything should be printed so i'm running the same command instead of debug i just made the verbose can see the logs are there's so many logs are printed each and every steps how many internal steps are happening so everything is printed here so it is in case if you could not find it in debug mode we can run it in a web browser and we can get more details that's all that's all about uh, run your test case so today we covered uh, the how to run your test shoot or test cases in different uh, methods run run file run file name run with steps run with the grep run multiple run multiple with multiple browsers then run workers debug and workers thanks for watching the video bye